Hello, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. Thanks for checking in again, and uh, this is another uh, sketchbook tour. Um, if you've not seen the previous episode, feel free to go back to the previous uh, episode. That was the first video that I posted uh, uh, about a month ago. So we're going to look at the second sketchbook that I've just completed recently. Um, I believe uh, where the previous episode I did mention that uh, I'll, be more, I'll be focusing more on um, paintings that's related to stories or something interesting, stories of the artist or inspired by the books or things like that. So let's get started with the tool. I believe in the previous video I stopped somewhere around here. So this is a painting of a dancers and it was inspired by a chapter in a book and I find it interesting. It was a black and white uh, photos and uh, and it was uh, pretty fuzzy and, um, and it was an old photo so I did an attempt to um, add a little bit of textures and colors to make it interesting. Um, I did the time lapse video on this painting. Uh, it was also inspired by a chapter in a book. And uh, what I find interesting about this is uh, it was sculptures in a museum and, uh, and it was a black and white photo as well. So, I am using um, Daniel Smith um, granulating uh, paint. Uh, I, I believe it's called Lunar Black, and that somehow create a pretty interesting textures uh, uh, on the watercolor paper. By the way, this is a watercolor paper um, sketchbook. I also bought a new uh, fountain pen. It was pretty inexpensive. It's a few day uh, nib uh, Chin Hao 911 fountain pen. It's about less than $10 uh, US dollars. So I filled it up uh, with the document ink uh, so that it's waterproof. I can sketch and uh, put a layer of colors on top uh, without smudging it. Um, my attempt to learn uh, urban sketching and I believe this is from uh, Ian Finley yeah, if I pronounce the names correctly um, it was pretty interesting sketch and uh, it was very colorful and I did just uh, copy a section of it and, and try to find out um, what is it like to sketch like this I'm still pretty much a beginner uh, in urban sketching and watercolor so um, I'm still getting used to how the mediums work and uh, well it is a little bit uh, draft yeah I would say but uh, I, I get to learn quite a fair bit of it uh, in terms of uh, values um, the darker area and how the work uh, the colors works uh, in, in the overall pictures And this photo, uh, this is also another f uh, a reference photo is from another uh, black and white photo that I found uh, on Pinterest. Uh, it's uh, about this uh, dancer called Isadora Duncan. And um, the way that I painted this is uh, inspired by uh, the artist uh, Wendy Arting. And there's no pencil sketch, basically uh, using the, the the diluted paint to start uh, putting layers on the papers. Um, since th this is a, uh, the blank page and um, I'm also making use of it to practice uh, some other um, uh, subjects and uh, this is inspired by uh, Fabio Cambronelli yeah, on Flora. So I'm um, trying to get used to how uh, the paint layer on the top of each other. And this 
a particular sketch or painting is inspired by a podcast, in fact. Uh, and the title of the podcast is Why We Love the Tang Dynasty. And it was pretty interesting how um, the paintings, the arts, the cultures uh, continue to influence the way people um, live and the way people uh, uh, perceive arts uh, till today. Um, I find it interesting and then and therefore uh, found these pictures of uh, sculptures and, and painted it. I'm also uh, looking for old paintings, especially uh, Asian paintings. Uh, this is obviously a Japanese uh, ladies uh, and pretty interesting line works. Um, so I did an attempt to copy it and, and, and find out how to um, how the previous or the old masters work uh, in this sense and uh, this is uh, from uh, a YouTube video by Rick and this is called the color of four and uh, basically putting washes of uh, watercolor and doing some uh, negative paintings on this. And yeah, some of these are um, experimentals. Yeah, especially this one here. Um, I bought a, a paint, lamp black, uh, trying to create some textures, the fuzzy edges uh, for these uh, cheeks. And also um, using the same paint to create uh, a painting of a cat uh, yeah this is a photo uh, uh, taken by me um, I was walking toward uh, the art shops and I saw this uh, pretty colorful building here so I took pictures and sketched it later on and uh, I'm trying to simplify it, uh, um, what I saw so um, and um, a lot of detail has been removed, so retain only some of the interesting uh, uh, objects uh, in in the pictures. And uh, the main thing is the building, and uh, this is basically the color of uh, the building. Um, I'm, I'm using Opera Pink here, I'm not sure whether the color has faded, but I've uh, added uh, a tin of bubbles on top of it. Um, I'm not sure whether that still works um, as is. My attempt to paint um, the dragon fruits and uh, I find the color pretty interesting um, so I'm using whatever I have uh, I have uh, quite a number of uh, pinks and reds uh, in my palette so this is uh, the outcome of it um, so this is um, my first attempt of uh, full-scale urban sketching uh, this is from an old photo that I found on social media um, I believe this is a temple in Singapore um, and and the photos was pretty um, uh, low contrast I must say so there's, there's a lot of missing details so I am just putting in what um, I think is appropriate so yeah some of the things are yeah i find it interesting especially the textures on the 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 roof and some of the expressions and uh, gestures of the the people in the foregrounds and uh, i've removed quite a fair bit and uh, because uh, it's just too much details of pain and also um, yeah pretty challenging piece uh, for me um, Oh, this is by the way uh, with pencils with uh, waterproof fountain pen ink and also watercolor and also a few uh, a couple of um, paintings inspired by the uh, YouTube videos uh, especially the um, channels by Leron um, masters series and if you have not checked out his channels, feel free to do so. And uh, I find uh, there are some pretty interesting um, masses uh, paintings. Um, 
highlighted by Liron and, and you know basically uh, it's a good way to learn watercolor especially in terms of uh, value studies um, pigments and things like that so this is I believe um, by Mark Foley the paintings of Mark Foley and uh, there's no pencil sketch here basically um, uh, how I do it was to uh, find somewhere to start uh, in in this particular I believe it started from uh, this container here so I'm using uh, the first wash on on this area and slowly build up to the rest so I'm doing section by sections yeah uh, based on the values um, keeping what needs to be white uh, untouched so basically building from the bottom up I have no idea how um, the, the artist did this piece but um, and um, basically I'm just observing and uh, the values so it, it was kind of interesting uh, learning process for me likewise for this uh, painting here um, putting up uh, washes and 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 painting the silhouettes and also the, 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 the shadows so slowly build up to what it is it's an interesting um, process for me and this is uh, from photos for um, all our paintings of the photos or photos or painting uh, from Pinterest um, can't remember um, the, the name of the artist or the, the piece so uh, it's a, pretty much the same uh, there's no pencil sketch here so basically uh, putting paints on it and uh, slowly build it up and this is um, my learning of um, watercolor portraits and uh, this is inspired by um, another YouTube channels I believe the channel's name is called Misubo um, and the artist is a Korean artist and uh, he's using Sinhan watercolor and also Mijello Mission Go and I was curious um, when I saw the, the portraits uh, that he did uh, on, on his YouTube channels and he did it and, and I was pretty amazed by the wet and wet techniques that he's using and uh, how the, he controlled the water and the colors and the pigments and 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 on a large scale paper without you know creating a mess and uh, it was such an interesting uh, way that he paint portraits and the color that he's using is pretty interesting too and I find it very vibrant and, and uh, translucent and kind of like you know um, um, the, the color of the skins is, is well represented in his painting So interesting uh, parts here, and um, I saw the study of um, uh, John Singer Sargent's uh, paintings, and uh, not only his watercolor, but his oil painting as well. He did a lot of oil uh, portraits painting, as well as a lot of watercolor portrait painting. So this is not the first one that I attempted, and. Uh, let me show you the one that I painted on the larger uh, watercolor paper. Uh, by the way, these are hundred uh, percent cotton uh, watercolor paper. So this is the the very first one that I I copied. It is I believe this is the oil painting. Uh, I, I I think uh, uh, my painting is a bit a lot darker than the original paintings, and then the lightness is far from um, yeah the painting and. Um, I'm basically using what I learned from this uh, Korean artist and apply it on uh, this painting here and uh, using um, Sin Han's uh, artist grade uh, watercolor paint um, and it's yeah it's, it's pretty interesting for me and uh, how he layers the, the, the color and uh, creating soft edges uh, especially the shadow area on the face and all that so yeah this painting took um, quite a few hours to complete uh, because I need to wait for the layer to, to dry before I put on another layer and another layer um, well the proportions of this painting I'm, I'm not sure how accurate it is um, and yeah 
I'm trying as much as possible to reproduce uh, what I see on the original uh, original painting by uh, the 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 master painter uh, John uh, Singer Sargent. Yeah. So the second yes, I do use pencil for this sketch. Yeah, because uh, um, there's a lot of. Uh, in uh, parts that I need to make sure is accurate. So the second painting that I, I found from uh, John Singer Sargent was this one here. Um, this is the the portraits that I did not use any uh, pencil at all. Um, basically I'm just putting a layer of um, skin tones uh, uh, colors on uh, in the middle of the painting and I slowly, slowly build it up with uh, the color that I saw from uh, the paintings and uh, I, I believe it uses a lot of blues and greens uh, and very little of pink so yeah this I find it quite interesting and in, uh, how the brushstroke creates the textures uh, and all that um, um, by the way I my personal uh, liking is I like this better than this uh, because uh, this is pretty uh, interesting uh, process for me uh, yeah basically paint without uh, pencil sketch so this is my third third painting uh, studying um, the master's painter's work um, John Singer Sargent so this is the ladies uh, yep and well well, what what is interesting for me is um, the rest of the areas are pretty rough uh, and except the hand and the face and and that kind of uh, reminded me of uh, uh, the photographs and you know like what what we want focus then we, we put them in focus anything that is not in focus will be slightly blurry and things like that yeah, so that reminds me of that, and I find this interesting. Um, I'm also doing a study of um, watercolor po uh, poppy fields without pencil sketch, and basically just laying down uh, layers of uh, paints and and start building up uh, with the impressions, uh, not not the the uh, realistic flowers and something in the foreground something in the background and the high, how the light is shining through and all that well i'm i'm still getting used to the visual language that i picked up uh, in the last few months so i'm, I'm uh, not there yet to describe uh, uh, my own work uh, yeah but I've, what i enjoy the most is studying and, and putting it on the paper and try to um, describe it uh, as accurate as possible so this is um, the work by um, inspired by the work of uh, Felix Sneinberg, uh, uh, Sneinberger, Burgess. I'm sorry if, if I pronounce it uh, incorrectly. Uh, I found the paint, uh, the the painting, the series of painting uh, of this artist on Pinterest, by the way. And uh, what I find interesting is the line works, uh, and also the the colors. Uh, and and how freely the the artist uh, expresses um, work and all that, um, yeah, I, I I like this uh, quite a lot. Yeah. And again, back to uh, studying the work by uh, Wendy Artin, um, and using a lot of uh, just shadows um, and values to create the. Uh, the urban sketching scenes. Um, there's no pencils involved in this. Basically, just silhouettes and shadows uh, of subjects. Yep, the human figures. I believe this is the male figures and these are the female figures. Um, I do not know exactly how the the artist uh, did the piece, and uh, in order for me to fit the the figures in the, without first sketching it first uh, with pencils um, I started from the toe and slowly build it up uh, with uh, the layer of uh, colors and all the way to the head 
while I'm not sh exactly sure if uh, the 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 anatomy or the measurement is correct, but uh, this is just how I observe and and experiment. Yeah, likewise for this as well. Started from the toes and slowly build it up to the uh, legs and all the way to the head. Yeah. So uh, whether this is accurate or not, I'm I'm not too sure. And uh, I'm con I'm I'm continuing to explore by um, look uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, some from Pinterest and some from uh, Instagram, and this piece is inspired by the work by Paul Wang, a Singaporean artist, and I find uh, the way that he painted is is very interesting, and uh, I I saw some of the video. Um, there's no full sketch uh, of the whole painting. Uh, and sometimes he's basically uh, putting it, putting down the, the, the paint and building up uh, section by section, layer by layers, and, and find it very interesting. And, uh, and how he, you know, build up the mental visions of the painting that he, he's trying to achieve. So I find that process very interesting. Um, I believe he's also doing a series on uh, the topic for shifting views. Um, some of the still life uh, is not what we paint as we see. Um, some of the some of the uh, objects in still life uh, was kind of like um, over over uh, overlay or overlaps uh, with each other. Sometimes uh, it was in a very interesting positions. Sometimes it's a little bit like transparent and seeing through, and things like that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this is a painting um, by a um, very old artist. I believe this is uh, by Giovanni Battista Tipoli. Tipoli. Um, and this is the paintings uh, um, done around 16, uh, between the uh, six, uh, 1696 to 1770s. And this is what I find interesting is that as I study I do not know exactly whether you know the painters are painted with the ink first or the watercolor and the way that I painted this is basically looking at the values and, and not much by the way in the original paintings uh, they are just blobs of uh, colors or shadows or values on the painting so I first putting those in then I use um, a deep pen uh, with, um, I believe, the walnut ink uh, from Daniel Spieth. Uh, basically, just putting the lines on top of the blobs and, and st start creating this um, this painting. And well, I mean, it's just my way of experimenting uh, from my own study. Um, by the same artist, uh, yeah, Giovanni. Um, Another uh, ink and sketch, ink and watercolor uh, or, uh, sketch. So, likewise, yeah, I, I find the the line is very simple, but yet it's very effective uh, in communicating the, the the shapes and all that. I think this is one of the things that I focus on because I'm I'm pretty interested in uh, um, in improving my urban sketching. So, yeah, um, again. I have no idea how the artist started this sketch and uh, basically I'm just building uh, uh, my attempt is to, to start from the corner and and, and ends wherever it is. So there's an empty space here so uh, so I thought why not you know like use the, the space and um, attempt a sections of the painting from from the master painter uh, John Singer Sargent. So again uh, this and let me see. Uh, this painting uh, should be the same series, watercolor series by uh, John Singer Sargent. So this is a section of the painting, and uh, uh, I believe that was also a section of the painting. It's not a full painting that I am trying to study. Yeah, the main thing is um, I at at first I wasn't so. Um, comfortable using watercolor to paint portraits and especially in a smaller area and um, and in the past uh, it, I kind of made, uh, made made a mess out of it because uh, the the 
the the color that I mix uh, some, some kind uh, somehow created uh, very muddy uh, muddy and also a grayish kind of color so um, well by the way for those uh, portraits I'm, I'm using uh, Sienhan paint at the moment uh, I'm, I'm not sure uh, for other paints um, so other brands uh, what what are the colors that I will use uh, without uh, creating a mess out of my painting so uh, this is um, Hiramaki I, I don't believe this is uh, I, I don't even know whether this is the name of an artist or an a method. So basically, um, what I noticed uh, from the, from YouTube and on the social media was, uh, um, the painters basically just uh, putting, uh, ink washes or, or uh, watercolor um, blobs um, on the paper, and yeah, the the objective is paint what you see. So from the shapes, uh. And yeah, this is what I saw, and uh, I painted some uh, human figures. Yeah, from the blobs of colors. Yeah, I well, this is what I saw: the mother and the child, and this is like parrots, and uh, you know, standing on some kind of uh, rocks and things like that. Uh, a lady and a dog, and three persons staring at each other. Yeah, I think this looks more like parrot fish to me. So this is what it is. Yeah, this these two interest yeah are quite interesting for me. And it looks like old couples, you know, the ladies is walking in front, and the husband was looking at the lady. So this is just the imaginations that I have uh, by looking at the blobs of colors. Well, I I think I will continue to explore quite a fair bit uh, if uh, I'm not studying uh, any master's painter works or any uh, paintings uh, on the social media. So I was just experimenting with colors and. Uh, and sketch something out of it. Yep, and uh, well, interesting thing is uh, after that, then I'll kind of explore some of the uh, illustrative work uh, by some of the YouTubers and artists. Uh, this is by Iraville. Yep, the YouTube channels. Uh, if if you're not seen it, uh, check it out. It's very interesting illustrate uh, illustrative work. Uh, yeah, I like this piece because, uh, and well, I mean, I, I did not, um, you know, this is just a sketch and a study for me, and, and I did not uh, copy everything in the painting. Uh, the head is made out of uh, the corals and also the, the, the seascapes, yeah, and the way that uh, um, the painters, uh, the lady painters, uh, it was uh, very interesting, you know, um, it's slightly different from other portraits, the way that uh, the yeah, uh, the color was uh, lay, and uh, this is interesting because it's simplified, it's easy, it's fun. Uh, I think the the beginners or the uh, children will, will like this very much. Uh, not so you know like elaborate uh, uh, portraits like this. Yeah, and so another piece is uh, inspired by the work um, of. Mossery and Hikela. Yeah, I think the the works is very um, similar to those that you notice uh, in uh, Ghibli Studios uh, or, or Japanese um, um, comics. Yeah, so very simple line, very subtle colors. Yeah, they create a very, very unique feel to it. Yeah, I, I, I quite like it. Yeah, by the way, um, yeah, when I was younger, um, I, um, I was very inspired and impressed with, uh, with the 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 Ghibli Studios uh, work, uh, by Miyazaki, and I, I, I believe that was the very first Miyazaki works. Um, the Castle in the Sky was the very first, uh, animation that I watched when I was in um, primary schools. Um, I can't re I can't remember exactly uh, what age it is, so that sort of um, paintings uh, that sort of sketch um, resonate very well with me. Yep, experimenting with colors, um, and this is my first attempt or, or, or um, 
of my own, uh, inspired by Paul Wang. Um, work, I, I can't remember. Is this uh, Shifting View series or, or something else? But um, well, this is what it is. It's interesting for me to experiment without any references. Uh, yeah, just go with uh, whatever that I have in mind and imagine. And uh, another, yep, studies of uh, master painters, and uh, I believe this is also from uh, Leron's channels. Yep, Mark Foley, and again building up the scenes without any pencil sketches, just putting a uh, layer and layer of uh, colors uh, from the corner slowly building up. I believe this is the the, the scene of a village. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly, but uh, where it is. But uh, yeah, I find it quite interesting, not having uh, the the whole thing sketched out first. Um, this is actually uh, with a reference photo that I found from Pinterest. It's not a painting, so I am doing uh, another uh, experiment with urban sketching, basically just using uh, uh, very simple lines and laying. Uh, colors on top of it without um, creating something too realistic or too abstract. Um, this is more along the, uh, the line of something like this. Uh, simplified lines, less realistic. Yep. And uh, the, the, the building looks a bit a little bit more uh, cartoonish or uh, more illustrative kind uh, rather than the, the actual one. Yep, and since uh, it's closer to Mother's Day, so I'm painting something along that line. Yep, you probably can notice that. Yeah, Mothers and Childs, and another one here. And this is uh, influenced by or inspired by the work uh, uh, of uh, Gustav King. Yep, do check it out if you are interested in um, paintings with gold color. Uh, and in interesting uh, line works, yeah. Uh, and this is nowhere near that, but uh, I'm I'm basically using the sketching techniques, uh, doing the outlines and putting layers of colors on top of it. And uh, well, I what what I find is uh, after painting this, I'm using the same colors, the same palettes, uh, doing this piece. So yeah, because I like the color very much. It's bright. It's 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 warm interesting to me so we are coming to an end of my sketchbook and uh, this is the last two pages of the sketchbooks and I'm um, yeah, experimenting with uh, Hira Mickey again so, yeah putting paints on the thing uh, on the paper and uh, sketching the outlines or whatever I see um, and uh, for the darker blobs of uh, uh, area uh, I'm basically using the uh, Posca pen, uh, white color Posca pen to, to draw the outline. And happy Mother's Day to all. And this is just uh, a very quick uh, watercolor flowers uh, uh, in the field um, based on the reference photo that I found on Pinterest. Thank you for watching and uh, happy Mother's Day. Bye.